Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all of you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Figured we would go to this deck. I have not pulled this in a minute. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe. This weather is insane right now. All right, let's see what's going on with the collective today. Oh, I'm going to take all of it. A little too much. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly love and appreciate all of you. And all the newcomers, thank you so much for joining my channel. Okay, so you holding out for real love. You have a magnetic attraction with somebody else, though. Somebody has an, a magnetic attraction towards you. It's something there. I don't know if this is somebody that you walked away from, but you're kind of holding out for real love here. You want somebody that is honest. Storm warning is here. This feels like somebody's trying to come back. Um, I don't know if somebody may have reached out or is trying to reach out to you, but somebody seems like they want to reconcile with you. Somebody that had, a, had you in a third party situation, they're addicted to you. Um, they have a very, they feel like they're magnetically attracted to you or they can't like moth to the flame. They can't get away from you. Um, they miss you a lot. My storm warning is here. It's almost like spirit telling you this is a player here. This is that player as energy. This is not somebody that you want to resuscitate. <laughs> you don't want to go back to this. Um, really, this person has not really learned shit from the first time you walked away. I want to come home is here. This person wants you back. Um, there's an energy shift or transition. Something in you is completely different. You're not who you used to be, especially when it comes to these toxic ass relationships. You're not the same person. Healing is needed for whoever this is. Um, but you may get an unexpected message from them. So just letting you know. Let's put some tarot on it. Um, right now, it just looks like really, again, you're holding out for real love. You know, you know what you want out of life and what the hell you don't want out of life. You just, I mean, you don't want to have to worry about where this person is, what they don't, you, you, it's like you're too grown for that shit now. That play ass energy, you don't want that anymore. Healing is needed for this person. They feel like they only healed if they come around you is what it's looking like. They feel like if they get with you again, they'll be healed. Um, and the reason is because you were, you were always the prize. Um, there is nothing this person can do to get you back. It's really, it is what it is. I feel like they may need to just swallow their pride and let it go. Hermit roll right behind it. Like this person needs to take time out and realize why you walked away. Um, because it's something going on there where they're not healing something about themselves. That was the whole lesson of you coming into their life. They're not, they're not taking the warning. Um, you're coming up as king of pentacles, like very focused on your firm foundation and what you've got going on. And you're no longer, wow, that is, you're no longer, no longer desiring the things that you've walked away from. Like you're not, it's, it's no turning back for you. You're not looking back. You know, um, this person can try to reach out to you as much as they want. But you're just not turning your, you're turning your back on them. You're just not going back to them. They were too toxic. Yeah, death. It's sad too because it's like, you walking away made them realize just how much they love and care about you. But it's kind of like too little, too late. You know, um, you lost her or you lost him, whomever. Like, not enough was done. What happened here? As I see you, me, and she, third party situation came up. Oh, shit. This person loved you. Loves. I'll say loves. I won't even say loved. They still love you. But it's just something about them not being in control of themselves when it... it how do I say that? It's like they're trapped in the choices that they've made for themselves. They, that's it. They're trapped. There's, there, or they feel trapped. Um, without you being there, they feel like they can't, they don't have control over their life anymore. It's something about you walking away. Um, 
because it, it, it's with you, who you are. You, you are the best relationship they ever had. But they won't let go of this player energy. Why? It's almost like uh, this person is so immature. That's the problem. It's you're coming up as the star to me with the Knight of Wands right behind it. They can see the goal, but they can't get to it. You know what I mean? Like they're too reckless in their actions. They're they're not poised enough. They're not stable enough to be able to match your energy. It's something like you come up in such a high vibration that it's like they could never reach that high. I, I don't know. You saw something in them that they didn't see in themselves and you truly, genuinely offered them love. They thought they were doing that with you. They wanted to do the same thing, especially with this two of cups being here. They wanted to love you the same way that you love them. But it's something about these choices. Like this person has no... I guess no moral compass when it comes to love. If anything shiny comes in their face like that, they automatically run to it. Like anybody pays them a little bit of attention. It's like, oh, let me drop everything and run over here. And not realizing that you were already invested in someone else. You were already investing in something that made you happy. Someone that you love, someone that loved you back. Because they look at you as the star. They look at you as the one. Um, but just so reckless with the energy that they bring you. I really think, although they love you, they look at you as a threat too. Um, this person is kind of justifying the reason that they were cheating or the reason that they were going outside of the relationship is because they automatically figured you were, you know, um, they figured at any moment you probably could call somebody else up or you were with somebody else or it's something about why, why does that keep coming up that they automatically thought that the that somebody was cheating on them, so they felt justified to cheat on you. They didn't see the blessing. And really what they don't understand is that putting, it's like working on this relationship with you and trying to build something stable with you would have brought them what they wanted and they just didn't see the blessing in it. They kind of slapped the cup away, didn't see the blessing. You know, I really feel like this person had, they thought they had more time with you. They really thought that they had time to get their shit together. Like you were going to stay around until they got all their shit out and, you know, all this player energy out. Before, you know, they, they were done playing and then they could come back to you. You were just not built like that. They're trying to become stable now though. And the reason is because they want to come towards you um, slowly. They're trying to slowly get towards you. Um, I feel like someone older may have talked to them and pulled them to the side and just kind of like called them out on their shit. Like, what happened to so-and-so? Why are you not with them anymore? Okay, it's your fault. You need to get your shit together. Like, how, how long are you going to be playing this game? with women or how long you want to be playing this game with men before you start to take someone seriously, before you start to realize there's more um, than just an attraction. There's more than just fucking with this person and that person. That's not what this is about anymore. You're getting older. I feel like an older person in their life that they respect actually pulled their, 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 <laughs> pulled their card. Like you really need to look at yourself. Because you were the one. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you got everything on your own. You may not feel like that at times. I'll tell you that. But the way people look at you, they look at you as someone that's stable, someone that has a great head on their, sh on their shoulders, someone that is in control of their life, someone that they can build with, someone that they can love. And they are trying to do everything they can to kind of get back into the position that they were in with you. And the lover's right behind it. Um... It's like they will not accept that you don't want them back. Uh, they want to prove a point to you 
They want to prove to you that they can do this this time, that they can love you right. Why justice? Because you are... Mm, you are the one that makes them happy. You are the one that brings them happiness. You're the one that brings them joy. It's like I'm hearing that... Um, what's that group? Black Street Joy. I know the song was about his daughter, but it's like you bring them joy. You just do. And it's, it's everything about you. Your smile, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you do things, the way you handle things on your own. This person loves that about you, but you're not waiting for them anymore. What does this person need to do? It's like you bring me so much joy. Wow. They need to look at themselves. Like truthfully, they need to understand that they are <laughs> they are the the factor in this and why this didn't happen. They're they're coming up with very addictive codependent tendencies when it comes to you too. Um even being addicted to this relationship after knowing that you don't want it anymore. It's almost like they're they're leaning too hard towards obsessing over you rather than accepting the fact that you may not want this anymore. This person is obsessing. Like, they really need to look at the truth. With this Ace of Swords being here, they need to recognize the truth. This person no longer wants to be with you. You know, you, you fumbled the ball. It is what it is. Um, and truth being here twice, like, it's something. I'm, I really feel like they, it's almost like they, they didn't expect you to leave. They keep coming back each time I pull. They keep coming back. I want you back. I want you back. Um, you're my strength. You're my love. You're my joy. Jeez. How does the collective feel? Because I know y'all don't want to hear this shit right now. I already know. <laughs> I read all of y'all comments, so I already know. Uh, you're just looking for more stability. You're looking for something that is more you, especially with this energy shift and transition in your life right now, who you are, you're not who you used to be. When you were in love with this person, I think in your eyes, they couldn't do any wrong. You, you gave them your heart and the moment that they put you in that third party situation or whatever the situation was that made you not trust them, it was like it, it created a different you. It automatically changed who you were. Um, you are looking for a high level commitment though. But you do not want to have to baby nobody. You do not want to have to teach nobody. You want somebody that, look, batteries included. I don't want to sit here and have to teach this person how to love. I want somebody that wants the same things that I want in my life in this moment, you know. Um, the spirit is saying wait for it. Wait for it. Continue to build on yourself. Continue to build your firm foundation. Continue to build on your abundance. Continue to love yourself because the person that you want, the high level commitment is coming your way, especially with the Ten of Pentacles being here um, and the Ten of Cups right behind it. What you're asking for, you're going to get. Um, but be open to teaching someone something. Be open to expressing how you love and expressing to someone what you need in a relationship. Don't automatically feel like everyone is going to be like this person was because everyone's not like that because you've got love coming and it's like love with with family around you it's you know it feels like kids could possibly be involved take their energy if it resonates but it's just like love is coming for you some of you may still be with this person um, but understand due to this person's toxic ways, an inevitable ending is coming with them. Like you can hold on to this relationship as much as you want to for dear life, but it's one of those situations where like right now, if you are in the two of swords mode where you don't know what to do, there is nothing to do. Spirit is going to end this anyway. The tower is right behind it. The choice will be made for you is what I'm trying to say and wheel of fortune right behind it you're a limitless being so don't limit yourself to feeling like you have to stay with someone that's toxic or someone that's not treating you right someone that especially with this king of swords coming up this could be someone that was abusive mentally abusive verbally abusive um just not showing any type of love towards you that you were giving them 
Like it's almost like you're showering them and they're not doing, they're not giving it back. If you're still with this person, unfortunately an inevitable ending is gonna happen. And it's going to cause you to heal because it's almost like it's giving maybe, you may find out about something, a betrayal that happened, something. But whoever that resonates for, don't stress yourself trying to figure out what you need to do because spirit is actually going to push you in the right direction and what needs to happen will actually happen. Ace of Pentacles right behind it, Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. After leaving whoever this is behind, now your miracle start. It's almost like you close one door and 10 doors open for you, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're very creative right now. Like your energy is, damn, it's, it's in my face. It's magnetic. Um, you're creating things for yourself that is actually going to bring you the wealth and and it's what's the word it's it's like you're building on a foundation that you're finally going to recognize for yourself for the first time like you're going to finally look at it like it is what it is like wow this really became bigger than what i thought it was going to be um and it's after walking away from these people after cutting this dead weight off you start to realize who you are and what you can create and what you're here to do in this world and it's you're limitless um there's no look at that high priest is at the bottom of the deck you have an inner knowing about what it is that you're here to do this person was limiting you and kind of stagnating you too in their love um it's something of, about keeping you trapped with them, keeping you around, hiding you from the world. You're no longer hidden. You know, you're, you're doing what you have to do for yourself now. And it's really causing a stir. People are paying attention to it. Queen of Wands is very abundant. She creates anything that she wants. She manifests whatever she wants. And that's in the mode that you're in. So if you're starting a business or you thought about starting a business, you better get off your ass and start it because this is the energy that you need to be able to have the confidence to give it to the world, okay? Any more messages for the collective? The things that you desire are going to start coming in. You're about to start having choices when it comes to love. Um, you may not be paying attention right now because you're working so hard, because you're creating so much, but people are taking notice to who you are. You have a lot of choices here. Um, Even people that haven't been around you in a long time see that you have choices. It's, it's, it's something like ex-lovers, ex-friends, all seeing you as someone that really lives in their fucking truth. Like, you are really, you're not putting up a facade for anybody. You're being who you truly are. It's bringing you new desires, but why the Seven of Swords? I mean, seven of uh, cups, I'm sorry. It's somebody that may have watched you walk away from someone else that's, I wanna say they wanna offer you love. They, they want to, but they see that you're working very hard. They see that you are really, in like invested in yourself like you're taking yourself so seriously and you're doing everything that you need to do high priest is coming up twice like the inner knowing about who you are is there they know you know who the hell you are um this feels like somebody that's watched you move on from someone else uh, this may have been a friend you confide in it maybe somebody that you work around this is somebody that sees you sees your growth let me get more on who this is You may not, because it feels like you don't, nobody's like really catching your eye right now. Like you just kind of like, eh, I don't want to fuck with nobody. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're looking at everyone as just like, just not, not your type, you know, um, just not who I want. If you're holding on to money right now, if money is getting really tight, Spirit is saying that's about to come to an end. You're about to get some money. 
So don't stress yourself about that. Just be grateful for what you do have and whenever you need to call on spirit for help, okay? But when it comes to these relationships, it's kind of like you're not making up your mind yet of whether this is something you want to go towards or not. Um, maybe you feel like the people that are coming around you are too limited, especially with the will being in reverse. It's like they're just too limited. Like I need somebody that's open, somebody that can be themselves when they're around me, not their representative. Like I need somebody like your swords are up when it comes. I asked that question. Your swords are kind of up like, mm. Nobody's really catching my eye that's coming around. Ace of Wands being here, Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Um, you have a new opportunity here, new beginning, new energy is happening. But it's kind of going around you working hard. It's really going right back to you. It's going back to your money, back to your abundance, whatever it is you're creating. Why Six of Swords? I don't know if you're fighting someone from your past. Um, or having to deal with someone from your past that you do not want in your life. This could be a divorce. This could be a custody issue. Something along those lines where it's like there is someone that is still in your life that you wish you could cut the fuck off. Um, but you're standing your ground, especially with this Nine of Wands being here. You're standing your ground and you're doing what you have to do. It's almost like you have no fear of the unknown, especially with the moon being here. You're like, you know what? Whatever you got to throw my way, let's go. I don't know if this is somebody that you had a very tumultuous past with, um, but you ended up having to really work hard to rebuild yourself after this. And it, it feels like it's still kind of lingering on. What else? Because whoever this is, you're looking at them like, if you don't stay the fuck away from me, like, you don't want nothing to do with this. This is like, I'm done. I worked too hard to get where I'm at. I'm not going back to this shit. And this person is still in my energy and I don't want them there. And I will fight to keep them out of it. Um, could be this person here too. But it's definitely somebody that you walked away from and you felt like they betrayed you. It's somebody, it's something here with a level of respect. It's something that you're like, no. There is no coming back. And this person is coming up as king, as king of cups in reverse. This could have been an abusive relationship as well. And I, you know, we don't condone that shit on this channel. Walk away, do what you got to do. Um, save yourself always, you know. Um, but this, this felt like somebody that, ugh, like even my whole tone just changed. Like this is somebody that was jealous of you, somebody that, didn't like the attention that you got, somebody to try to keep you all to themselves. And very, um, I say abusive because it's like, I don't know if they were codependent on you, but it feels like you started working hard for yourself, not for this. Could have been somebody that, I don't know, like, Somebody that was holding you back and moving very slow. Because the Ten of Swords is here, but it feels like a different type of betrayal. Like, they didn't give you what they said they were going to give you in this relationship. They didn't work hard on this. They didn't try. It felt like you were always trying. I kind of want to get off of that. This here, this felt like somebody that you had no choice but to stand in your strength and move on. Because um, this person would have literally... Um, ate you alive like they, they would have taken everything from you everything financially everything like it's almost like they didn't want anybody to have any they didn't even want you to have it it's I don't know whose story that is but whoever that is thank God you got away from them why is the pentacles in reverse they're watching you be abundant whoever this is they don't have shit right now it's like they're in a deep depression about a lot of the things and a lot of the choices that they made in their life when it came to you um but here you are standing in your strength nine of cups right after it it's like you're finding self-love for yourself you're you're learning how to take care of yourself and be there for yourself life is even different now that this person is not around um i don't know why that took a shift like that but whoever that was it was time to let their ass go there was no reason to hold on to that 
Hold on. Let me ask this question because I didn't. What's coming up next for the collective? What's coming up next? Because these exes got problems. Queen of Pentacles coming up here. You coming up, honey. You coming up with some money. Um, stability is coming up. You're to yourself right now, but it's almost like you're manifesting that um, Ten of Cups for yourself. You're really taking your time to think about who you'll give a chance to. Think about who you want to take a chance on. You're not jumping into everything so quickly, especially with you being Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. It's because you're already stable and you have everything that you need. So at this point, it's almost like you're taking applications. You're not necessarily... <laughs> You've not <laughs> approved anyone yet, but you're taking applications and you're looking at things a little different. You know what I mean? Like this time, the criteria is different to be with you, okay? Uh, especially when it comes to love and the things that you've learned from the past. Yes, you have upped the criteria this time. Um, but it's good. It's good to take your time. It's good to take this time out for yourself and understand who you are and what it is that you want out of life and what it is that you want out of love. Because some people you've had to cut off really quickly. You've had to, some people you stay too damn long but now you know exactly what it is that you need in love um i guess spirit wanted me to get that out for you queen of cups being here as well your love of love okay people look at you and they want to be around you they want your energy around them you bring a certain warmth to the situation and that's why a lot of people it's hard for them to let you go and if they do if you let them go it's almost like they have this obsessive um angry energy towards you because you walked away and because they lost that warmth they can't get it anywhere else all right guys let me give you guys an affirmation i'm gonna get up out of here um these people kind of just drop i can't say it enough drop the ball because you're a real one refine your attention when it comes to love and that's what you're doing especially being in hermit mode refine your attention especially with your business too. reassess the things that you want right now because it's really about you essentially it's what you want. The world, you you can do whatever the hell you want right now. Like, nothing is holding you back. You're not limited. These people that drop the ball are. You're not. Look forward to the future, okay? And begin to explore. I really feel like this is about your creativity and the things that you want to bring to the world. Start to explore that a little bit more. I know we want to find relationships and things like that, but really get into who you are and what it is that you want out of life. Keep your commitments and love yourself. Like seriously, that shit was very to the point. <laughs> Reflect on your own truth, okay? You know who you are, you know what you bring to the table. And at this point in time, if this person is not bringing it to the table, they got to get off the damn table. They can't be here anymore. This is how these other people got here and it really was because at that time you were vulnerable. At that time you wanted a relationship. At that time, you know, you were willing to invest in someone. Now you're really looking at, did I get my return on my investment with these people? Because I didn't get my, my ROI last time. I didn't get that. So this time moving forward, I have to set the bar higher. I have to bring people around that are on my vibration. If they're not, then I'll just wait for the one who will be. And that's a good way to be, to be honest with you. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope that resonated with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.